this is McKillop and today I'm here to talk to you about living positively. Now, what does that mean exactly, living positively? I mean, of course it means being positive, but I want to get down to a few more details today. And we're going to talk specifically about your words and your thoughts and your reactions. Now, we all have bad days. I have them too. And sometimes my reactions aren't great. Sometimes my words and my thoughts aren't very good. I want to show you how to turn those around or to stop and think before you say something that you don't want to say. Because if you can imagine a tube of toothpaste and when the toothpaste comes out, those are your words. Can you put them back in the tube of toothpaste? You can't. You can't put your words back in. So we want to think before we start uh, to talk. So the first thing we're going to talk about are your words. Uh, so right now, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so that you can listen to a story with me called The Bad Seed. Here we go. Hi, kids, and welcome to story time. Today you are going to be reading a picture book called The Bad Seed by Jory John with illustrations by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes the bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I am late to everything. I tell long, long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Cause I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark. And then... Then, a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself, I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can and I didn't care. It suited me until recently. I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. But I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you. And I say, please, and I smile. And I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And 
even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. Sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. This was the bad seed. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more story time. All right, friends. So what did you think of that story? Something really bad happened to the bad seed. He got separated from his family and he had a really scary experience. And after that, he decided that he was going to give in to his anger and his sadness and he was going to be a bad seed, a really bad seed. But something happened one day. He decided to change his thoughts and to change his words and to change his actions. And he turned himself around. He turned himself into a good seed instead. So I want to give you an example. I've got a plant here that is not doing so well. See that? And you know what? That This water is like our good words and our good thoughts and our good actions. So when this plant here, let's see that one. When this plant here keeps getting watered with good words and good thoughts and good actions and it gets sunshine, it, it grows and it blooms and it's this beautiful color. But this one over here is not getting the good actions, the good words and the good thoughts. It's not getting watered and it's not getting sun. So it starts to look like this and just like our bad seed it looks kind of nasty on the outside but i bet you if i were to um prune this plant and start to water it and give it sunshine it might grow again we'll have to see some good words some good thoughts and some good actions i also want to talk to you about your thoughts today sometimes we have bad thoughts I do too. Sometimes I think, oh gosh, I'm just not doing very good at that. Or I can never do anything right or things like that. And you know what? We need to turn those thoughts around and we need to give ourselves some positive affirmations and we can speak those to ourselves every day. In fact, I want to show you a fun little girl who actually speaks some positive affirmations to herself. So come on in close. This is actually a funny little video. So here we go. Look, I can be a shark. Now my whole house is great. I can do anything good. I like my school. I like anything. I like my dad. I like my cousins. I like my aunts. I like my Allison's. I like my mom. I like my sisters. I like my dad. fun oh here she goes again now she was a lot of fun and I don't think she was actually planning to say some personal affirmations that day but you know what this is a great example of somebody who is very excited about their life and all the things that are possible in their life so get excited we still have even though we're in isolation right now we still have lots of things to be positive about make some goals for yourself do things that you have not done before try things that you haven't tried and uh, you know that could be like a, a craft or a new song or maybe you're gonna try a new show um, but you know, have some fun and make some goals for when um, this is all over the social distancing. Maybe you're going to join a new soccer team. Uh, who knows? The sky is the limit because um, you could do anything. And 
those positive affirmations are super important. So you want to be saying them every day. Just try it. Go to the mirror in the bathroom and try it just like our little friend um, and see what happens. See if you feel better or if you feel worse. And I bet you you're going to feel better. So things like um, I'm a good person. I am very smart. Um, I treat people with kindness. Those types of things. And the last thing I want to talk to you about today are your reactions. So our reactions to things that happen are very important. And this is another way that you can set your mind. So sometimes oh, emotions get the better of us. And that's okay. It happens to everybody. But sometimes we get mad and then we start treating people um, poorly, just like the bad seed did. So he was treating people poorly. He was always late. He talked in movies. He didn't open doors. And you know what? Those things didn't entirely change when he was a good seed, but they got better. And uh, our reaction uh, can be good or it can be not so good. And um, it all has to do with how we feel. And sometimes I think that if we are a little bit more aware of the things that we can control and the things that we can't control, it's like um, being on stage. So some people are really, really scared of being on stage and we call that stage fright. But I used to be that way. And there are things that I figured out that I couldn't control and things that I could control. So the things that I could control is we're walking out confidently onto the stage. Even though I didn't feel confident, even though I thought that I was going to um, throw up, honestly, I was so nervous and I thought that I was going to throw up. So I walked out onto the stage like I was confident and nobody knew that I was even feeling that way inside. I could listen to my music carefully. That was something else that I could control. I could um, control my words and my memory and work at that. Um, but the things that I couldn't control, I couldn't control my shaking hands and I couldn't control my shaking knees and I couldn't control the fact that I felt like my tummy was upset. But you know what? After my performance, I felt a lot better. And that was turned into a positive experience. So my suggestion when we have bad reactions to things or not so good reactions to things and we feel like our emotions are really high, like we're, we're either angry or we're hurt or we're sad. First of all, I want you to know that you can go to an adult and say, hey, I'm feeling sad and this is why, or I'm feeling mad and this is why, or I'm feeling whatever and this is why. When you're happy, go to an adult, go to your parents or go to your grandparents and tell them that too. But the thing is, parents are pretty good listeners. So if you tell them instead of kicking a toy or maybe slamming a door, if you tell them, hey, this is how I'm feeling, then that way you can start to process your emotions and get them um, out so that you don't have to have those reactions to things. And I'm not saying that everybody does, but those are kind of the extreme. But, um, you know, there are other reactions that we have that are kind of not so good, right? But we can control going to our parents and saying, hey, I'm feeling kind of mad because of this right? And we always talk about that at Trail Ridge. We talk about using our words and we talk about, um, you know, verbalizing how we're feeling. So I think that's a really great way. Um, and also sometimes we just need a time out, right? Sometimes we need some time to ourselves. And that's why I'm in this space right now. This space is actually in my bedroom and, uh, I have some of my very favorite things here. So I have, um, some carousel horses that my grandmother gave me. Um, I have my favorite salt lamp that I really, really love. Um, the picture in the in the very back there is one that my son made um, out of pastels when he was probably in like grade two. And then I have my 40th birthday tiara right here. And I have some of my favorite books. I have some journals that I like to write in. So I just take some time out. I have some of my favorite music. 
I even have some of my favorite, favorite, they're not in an album, but I have some of my favorite um, pictures of my kids. Um, right here, I don't know if you can see that, but I have a blanket with my dog on it. This is Oki. And I also have, <laughs> I have stuffed animals in my room, guys. Um, this is actually a, a bunny that my grandmother and I made together when I was young. And my grandmother was very important, very special to me. So I'm surrounded by things that I love. And um, I just go here, I write or I can color. I've got a great coloring book of Disney, um, Disney characters. I can look through, this is an album that I can look through of some pictures. And, uh, you know, I can just look at these things that remind me um, how, how good life really is. And you know what, we all have bad moments, but life is pretty beautiful, it really is. And um, I'm just gonna, actually this was given to me by somebody very special to me. And I'm just going to read off what it says. This is something that I remind myself of every single day. And these are some um, positive affirmations. So this is called things to remember, okay? You don't have to be perfect. You don't, you don't have to be perfect. Um, that was something that I, it took me a long time to learn, but uh, it's very freeing to know that I don't have to be perfect and neither do you. Having a bad day is okay. It is, having a bad day is okay. Doesn't mean that they'll all be bad days. Small steps are also progress, small steps. So even if you, feel overwhelmed by something huge or the fact that you don't know when we're going to um, be going back to school or when you're gonna get back to seeing your friends. Um, small steps every day, small steps are progress. We're getting closer and closer to being able to be with our friends and our families. Um, asking for help is strength. I really like that one and I talked about that earlier. When you have a reaction and you, instead of, um, doing something physical, uh, talk to somebody. That is like asking for help or just speaking your truth. Uh, and the last one is people love and appreciate you. And you have to remember that all the time, that people love and appreciate you. So if you're having a bad day, I want you to remember how many people love and appreciate you and what they would say to you if you were having a bad day. So. Um, maybe you can't be with your grandma or your grandpa right now, but you can just imagine what they would say to you. Or you could call them on the phone and ask them what they would say to you if you were having a bad day. And I bet you will like the response. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of living positively. We're going to talk next time a little bit um, about um, the growth mindset. And uh, I'm really excited to learn some of these um great mental health and positive living things alongside you. So uh, have a great day and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.